Keegan, uh, what would you say is the difference between how you feel right now compared to this time a year ago? Uh, yeah, I would say I would say the biggest difference is just my maturity level, just um, my approach to the game. I feel like um, I went through a lot of ups and downs a lot, lot last season uh, that people know about that people don't know about. So I think um, I just have a new perspective, um, just more of a day-to-day -day mindset, not getting too high, getting too low. Um, trying to stay more even keel and yeah I just feel like um just the way I look at things just just from a more mature perspective more level-headed and I think it's been to my benefit so yeah new starting quarterback now how has that comfort level kind of progressed between you and Avery yeah uh a ton I mean it started way before camp I mean in the spring and then carrying it over into the summer I mean I think all the receivers would say that we really tried to take advantage of the days we had even leading up to fall camp because we knew that we could be so much ahead of the page if we did that. And I mean, I feel 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 ju just as comfortable with Avery as I've ever felt. And I think right now we're, we're kind of clicking. So, yeah. And which cornerback would you say kind of gives you guys the most history in practices? Which what? Corners. Corners. Um, well, obviously, Jacob and Keenan, two vets. Uh, and since I've got here, me and Jacob have always, uh, 10 and 10, we've always just battled. And uh, so he, he, I can count on him to give me a good matchup every day. He's such a good competitor, doesn't take any plays off. Same with Keenan. I mean, both really athletic, physical guys, um, great speed. So, I mean, I enjoy competing with them so much, both every day, because I know they're going to give me my best, and uh, I love that. Keegan, have you seen Avery kind of take command of the offense this this uh, summer? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think he's he's stepped up tremendously. Um, even even off off the field, I think uh, the way he's kind of commanded our group off the field to just meet more, work more, um, and then that's kind of that you can see that kind of carrying over to camp. Just the way he's leading us, and I think a a Avery would tell you that he still has still has more more ways to go. But I think that trajectory he's on is 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 is, is a good trajectory. What's your next step as a wide receiver? How can you be better this year? Yeah, um, <clears throat> my next step. Man, I think going out there and just showing what I can do. Um, I think, uh, you know, I'm confident in my abilities. Um, I think the next step is just, just not talk about it and do it. Is there anything you've done this offseason to kind of prepare your body so you can, uh, you know, be out there every game this season, stay healthy? Yeah, I think so. I mean, some of that stuff, like, it's not 100% chance. Like, there's nothing you can do to be 100%. I mean, it's football. It's the nature of the game. Injuries happen, but I think – I think just just ramping up um, maintenance and things like that. But I mean, like I just said, it's football. Things happen. Uh, things happened last year that weren't in my control, and I felt like I was ready then. But you know, as you just can't. I can't predict what will happen tomorrow. All I can do is just go through this day um, with with my best best intentions, and that's what I do. And um, kind of like that perspective I talked about earlier. Just do, just having a day to day mindset, not staying too high or too low. Just kind of taking it a day at a time. It seems like there's a lot better depth at the receiver spot this year. Who are some of the guys that maybe didn't play last year that you think will show something this year? Yeah, um, well, obviously, uh, we'll still have uh, one, Jace, and then uh, zero, J-Jack, uh, two guys that contributed last year that'll be back. Um, and then we will have uh, Dante Cephas, who you guys haven't get, got to see yet, new transfer that you know has, has brought a, some good experience to the receiving room. Um, and I, I'm excited. I'm excited for him. And then we have some younger guys. Uh, Twelve, Trey Spivey, um, super athletic guy. He, he'll he'll definitely uh, help help the receiver room this year with depth. And then you know we still have some younger guys coming up. Some big dudes uh, at the X position. Andre Davis is one of those guys. Um, uh, Lil Lockett, Sterling Lockett. He'll he'll provide some depth for us in the receiver room. So, no nah, man, I'm excited. Do a couple more. Can you uh, kind of sum up the? Return game, where you sit in that, and who you think is probably going to handle those duties? Yeah, I can't. I can't really tell you right now. Um, it's still early, and we still kind of early, early portions of camp. Um, I wish I'd give you a better answer, but um, as far as punt return and kick return go, I'm not really sure who will be back there on opening day, and that's always fluid. It, it can change. So, Coach Kleiman said when we talked to him yesterday that that he feels like if, if you're able to stay healthy, that that you can be the best receiver. In, in the Big 12, what does it say to you that he has that that level of confidence and, and belief in, in your ability? Yeah, I mean, I think it's great. Uh, I think any any player would want their head coach to have that type of that type of respect and that type of praise for your game. And I mean, he's right though. Um, 
I think if I can stay healthy, um, you know, it, it, the future's bright. But like I said, man, uh, that perspective is is I can't look too far in the future right now. I mean, we're in the middle of camp. I got a lot of practices to go. Um, we'll have a lot. We'll have some practices after camp to go before the season starts. And right now, I'm in a day to day mindset. I like I said, I don't know what tomorrow brings. Anything can happen tomorrow. So um, my focus is right here, right now, and. Um, Whatever happens in the future, it happens, man. And I'm, I'm confident as ever, but uh, I'm present too.